there welcome back to mhv auto vlogs today we're going to review the 2021 ford explorer well talking about the ford explorer ford explorer is one of the finest full size suv uh, it's a, it's a very family oriented suv and uh, it's uh, the ford main focus is it's on safety and uh, uh, reliability and uh, Uh, comfort so uh, this is the first time you are visiting our channel be sure to like share and subscribe and hit on the bell icon and be a part of our notification squad well, the ford explorer is one of the best selling uh, uh, suv from ford uh, not only in the middle east all around the world european market or the american market it's a very uh, it's an a very ideal uh, family car must say and it's having uh, lots of comfort features and uh, engine is pretty good and very Uh, comfort ride for the uh, it's a, a seven seater car so uh, comfort it's been very top notch and the interiors is uh, very plush and very high quality interiors so we will discuss about it uh, interiors exteriors its performance its uh, arch rivals well uh, talking about the exteriors the exteriors has improved a lot and uh, it looks more rugged and having ex- exceptional road presence must say and look at the bumper and all and uh, here we are having the LED fog light fog lights here and uh, the chrome mesh grille looks amazing really exceptional uh, chrome grille and we are having the LED setup of uh, the front lights and it it's automatic headlamps projector LED lamps and uh, we are ha- having the daytime running lights also and uh, talking about the dimensions well uh, this is a uh, 20 inch alloy alloy wheels which looks very classy and the chrome finish finish on it looks very ex- exceptional talking about the side dimensions well uh, the length of this car is 5 uh, uh, meters and uh, the width is 2 meters and the height is 1.75 meters and uh, it's having a lo- longer wheel base this time around uh, which uh, helps in accommodating more space in the car and uh, talking about the the rear profile well from the rear it looks the, almost the same from the pre- previous generation and there are more sleeker tail lamps which is of led setup which looks quite exceptional and this is a limited uh, trim uh, the this is the top end trim so ford called it's uh, limited trim now talking about the interiors well uh, ford always impressed me in terms of interiors their dashboards are very modern and futuristic and this car is no exception really uh, great material has been used this is all leather and combination of leather and the plastic uh, so plastic is very common in this segment must say there is no issues there and here some fake wood which gives more premium finish in the interiors and there are huge chunk, chunky is vents here and i love the most uh, part of this car is uh, its interiors and uh, it's uh, it's having very excellent uh, Uh, sound system and there there is a uh, lot of uh, uh, stuff uh, you can keep here and you can uh, there is a lot of spaces available for mobiles here you can see uh, here there is one uh, uh, this one this uh, silver uh, trim just put this one and you can put your mobile phone here or here and uh, and here you can charge the f- mobile phone wirelessly which is quite good and uh, you are having lots of uh, cup holders here and there are total nine uh, charging outlets available in this car so here we are having charging outlets uh, uh, for the usb a and usb type c is available and here also a socket is available to a volt well uh, the steering is pretty big and uh, it's very light also and the leather seating is over, over here looks very, gives a very premium finish and there is some chrome finish uh, is also there so makes very premium and all and there is a cruise control is available and uh, uh, there is a, a cruise control and uh, this telephony is available here and uh, there is uh, for uh, So this for the driver information system which is uh, here it's a 7 inch driver information system which is uh, lots of features available here and uh, here you are having the telephony and all and uh, the volume controls for, uh, for here or in this car you are having around uh, 12 speaker bang and olsen brand and uh, it sounds very immersive uh, you can see the sound quality <laughs> pretty good pretty awesome experience and you are having the panoramic sunroof available in this car which is quite big quite huge huge this one you can see
Talking about the seats, these are the, the electronic adjustable seats, and you can ad adjust the height and uh, leg room. Everything you can adjust over from here. There are some buttons over here, and uh, heating and cooling is also available, which makes the more premiumness uh, in this car. So, as far as the safety is concerned, uh, safety is the uh, topmost priority of Ford. So, Ford makes lot of safest car on the planet, and. Uh, uh, this time around, uh, it's equipped with the Ford 360 pilot system. Uh, it's having uh, airbags and all, and uh, uh, there are some systems we will discuss uh, whenever you are we, we will be driving the car. So we're going to check, check out the second row seats. As far as the second row is concerned, well, the uh, Ford cars are well known for the passenger comfort. Well, uh, this car is having very good seats and. Uh, this also heated and cooling seats. We have dedicated uh, controls for the AC for the second row passengers also, which is quite good. And we are having again lot of charging outlets over, over here, which make makes this car very practical and uh, uh, family oriented. Well, as you can see here, and uh, uh, we are having the privacy curtains here. You can just uh, uh, put this one on and off whenever you require. Sun shades also we can call this one, and. Uh, for the AC vents, there are AC vents here separately on the upper sides, which is very convenient. Check out the third uh, third row seats of Ford Explorer. So we are having easy access to uh, for the th third row seats. Just you need to pull this uh, lever and uh, then put the second row seats up front, and then you can climb here. Well. Uh, here also have, we are having some decent amount of legroom, but recommended for children and all. Uh, but for adults also, also it's uh, pretty comfortable to be here in. But uh, when coming down from here, it's a little bit inconveniently inconvenient. So uh, talking about the boot space, well, uh, you just need to put the button here, uh, and you will be having uh, 570 liters of boot space. Which is quite good when compared to its competition. It's pretty more practical. When I have seen the Highlander and the Palisade, they are having very less boot space if if the all three rows rows are up. But this car have this car is having more boot space when compared to the competition. And you can electronically fold the second rows and the third rows here. Just one but one button press. Now around uh, when you put down the third row seats, you will be having around 1,360 liters of boot space, which is quite exceptional. And you can also fold the second row seats. Then you will be having around 1,800 liters of cargo space, which is quite exceptional. This car is all about uh, great practicality and comfort. And we are having the tailgate. And one more thing. And one more thing. When, whenever you are having some groceries, and you can uh, uh, just tap here and here we are having sensor and then the tailgate gets activated which is also a quite handy feature Well, now uh, uh, let's talking about the performance. Uh, so, so the Ford Explorer is powered by a 2.3 uh, EcoBoost engine, which puts out 300 bhp of power and uh, 420 newton meter of torque. Uh, well, the first we get on the, to the road. So in the initial impressions, well, the car feels very powered. Really, I'm really impressed in, in, the, in the initial impressions. 
and uh, uh, in the previous generation we are we were having a uh, 3.5 liter uh, engine six cylinder now it's a four cylinder uh, 2.3 liter engine which is a quite drastic change but really the engine has impressed me a lot well uh, uh, and now it's a more uh, fuel efficient engine well this is a 2.3 turbo liter engine which uh, that means uh, the turbo engine means uh, the smaller engine do bigger things well and puts out more power and more fuel efficiency and this car is uh, gives around 9 9 to 11 kilometers of uh, uh, fuel efficiency that is uh, up to only just within a liter of petrol you can go up to 9 to 11 kilometers which is quite exceptional and look at the power delivery just so uh, 0 to 100 uh, the Ford Explorer does just within 6.8 seconds which is quite exceptional and uh, the top, sp top speed of the Ford Explorer is 100 180 kilometers which is again quite exceptional well the po po power delivery and the body to power ratio is very well optimized and the suspension on the s is on the softer side which makes a complete family package uh, it feels very planted on the freeways and uh, moreover uh, it, uh, we were talking about the Ford uh, 360 uh, pilot technology. Well, there is a lot of safety features uh, uh, in this in this car. So some of them are uh, the blind spot monitoring system. Well, this is a, one of the very convenient feature uh, for this car. So whenever transiting from the one lane to another, it makes lot easier. Especially, uh, it will avoid lots of collisions whenever you're transiting to another lane. And another one is the uh, lane keep assist. Well, the lane keep assist whenever you switch on the cruise control, it uh, keep, keeps on you the same lane, same lane, center of the lane. It does the centering. If the car is going out, out of the way, then again it brings on the center. That makes very convenient when you are driving on the freeways, a long journey. If you are exhausted, you don't want to walk on the car just put on the cruise control and put on the uh, lane assist then it will it will be very helpful feature in this car and one more thing is the driver attention monitoring well it uh, uh, it gives the alerts uh, to the driver whenever something some object is closed or something and if you are going uh, speed beyond uh, so it will uh, give alarms and all to the driver which is a, a quite a handy feature talking about the key rivals of for the Ford Explorer is the Kia Telluride, Toyota Highlander, Honda Pilot and uh, uh, Kia, uh, Kia Telluride and uh, Hyundai Palisade also. So every car is having its significance but the, this car is having a lot, lot more comfort than any other uh, car in, in this competition and safety has been the topmost priority and the driving comfort is pretty top notch, well, well done by Ford. Okay, one well, the key selling points for the Ford Explorer is uh, its uh, interiors. Well, interiors are very exceptional and uh, the driving comforts, well, the, the driving com comfort has been well taken care of. And uh, one more thing, it's, uh, the, it's, uh, it's a family, completely focused on the family. Well, uh, those who are looking for a, a, a family car with the seven seats, then this is the car for you. And there are a whole lot of, uh, uh, lot of features available in this car and safety is the most best thing and Ford Explorer is one of the well established car and this is the 6th generation and moreover uh, the Ford has been uh, uh, it's been a success in each and every European, American and as well as the uh, Middle East market about the price, the uh, price is starting from 155,000 dirhams and uh, the top end trim what we are driving is the limited uh, Ford Explorer limited which, which is going up to 199,400 dirhams well price is quite decent and uh, um, considering the competition uh, car is having uh, car uh, ex excels in every parameter must say whether it is interiors and performance every, everything is pretty top notch in this car so in this car we are having some modes uh, driving modes is available there are total seven driving modes available in this car so uh some uh, some of them as one of one is the normal world what we are driving and then is uh, there is uh, eco mode is available uh, eco mode when uh, it uh, softens the acceleration of this car and gives more fuel efficiency and all and then we are having the sports mode it's a track oriented mode must say if you are going for in, on the track uh, the racing track and all uh, so it will be very useful uh, it, it uh, 
it uh, it's a uh, hard in the acceleration then it, it will have lots of lot more power when compared to the normal mode and there is slippery mode whenever you are driving on the rain rainy condition it uh, helps us uh, to drive on the properly and uh, another one is the deep sand mode deep sand mode is all about off roading so it uh, helps in the off roading purpose whenever you are going going to the off road off road and all uh, deserts and all it will be very good for you so in the end ford explorer is an heck of a proposition in terms of performance and this is the safest car in the uh, in this segment uh, if you are looking for a proper suv with uh, lots of safety and uh, decent performance and it's it does the decent it's a decent off roader also it's a four wheel drive car but i don't recommend because due to its uh, low ground clearance from the front so uh, that's it for now hope you like the video useful like share and subscribe and be a part of our notification squad thanks so much